They glide like mechanical hummingbirds or alien drones in a sci-fi film. These tiny robots, presented at this year's TED 2012 conference by University of Pennsylvania's Vijay Kumar, are called quadrotors, computer-operated helicopters that can move in a multitude of directions. Our goal is to build really smart, agile robots, robots that can operate in three dimensions. And we think that when you scale down robots to small sizes, you get agility and the quadrotors represent the best design approach for these kinds of robots. And so what we're trying to do is to develop these small robots that can cooperatively map uh, uh, buildings, cooperative pick up, cooperatively pick up and transport objects in buildings, uh, and basically operate in environments where it's dangerous for humans to operate in. <laughs> And robots like this have a lot of exciting applications. Um, for example, you can send them inside buildings to respond to uh, emergencies. Uh, they can be used for construction operations, carrying small beams and columns and assembling them into structures. Um, we can send them into buildings after natural disasters to assess damage. Um, or, you know, after the recent uh, um, a nuclear accident in Fukushima, you could imagine these robots being sent in to, uh, to map radiation levels after nuclear accidents. Um, and it could also be used for general purpose tasks such as transporting objects. In the TED demonstration, a room was fitted with infrared lights and cameras, and reflectors were put on the quadrotor struts. Each unit was programmed to reach a certain point in space at an exact time. In this case, those times and places translated into notes on instruments in the room. The, the presentation at TED was really about uh, our uh, research efforts. So we were asked to explain uh, the technologies, uh, why it represents the cutting edge of research and robotics, and what practical applications uh, it might have. But you know, the E in TED stands for entertainment, and so we promised them uh, a demonstration of the technology that might have some entertainment value. So we put together uh, uh, th this, this musical video where we had nine different um, uh, robots uh, playing six different instruments autonomously and we chose the James Bond theme song. <laughs>